Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Nadia Sands and this is Learn How to Edit Stuff. There's this whole red bone meme floating on the internet. People are taking funny videos and sound effects and then pairing it with the red bone instrumental track from Childish Gambino, and they're all pretty funny. Last week, I uploaded my own with the great lady. Some of you saw it, and then a lot of you started asking questions on how to actually do this in Premiere. So today is the red bone meme tutorial. Yes. Down in the video description below, you will find a cheat sheet, which looks like this. You'll understand this more later once we get into the lesson. The artwork missing the face. Hello, you're welcome. And also a link to download the instrumental version. We're going to be using the classic Charlie Bit My Finger YouTube video today to make a red bone meme out of. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it, walk you through the process. And by the end of this video, you will have made your own red bone meme. I'm ready. Open up Premiere because we're getting started. All right, Premiere is open. You're going to want to import all those things you just downloaded. So the artwork down here, the cheat sheet, the instrumental version of Redbone, and you're going to want to import whatever video you're going to use and start a new sequence. First thing you're going to want to do is find where in your video clip you're going to want to do the Redbone meme. So the Charlie Bit My Finger classic scream that we all know and love. That's going to be our Redbone portion. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click on my clip and hit Command or Control L on my keyboard. And that will actually unlink the audio from the video. Then I'm going to right click here and go to Enable. So it turns off my video layer. And I'm going to cut my audio layer right down here. And I'm going to nest it. Now, you can drop a pitch shift effect on a regular audio clip, but sometimes Premiere freaks out and like doesn't know what to do about it. And it can just run you into problems later. But by nesting on both like warp stabilizer and audio effects mostly, if you nest the clip, it kind of tricks Premiere into thinking that it's actually working all the time. So do that. And now what I'm going to do is come down here to my effects, type in pitch shift and use the pitch shifter plugin, not the one that says obsolete, but the new updated version. And we're going to drop that right on our audio clip, come up to our effect controls, hit edit here on the pitch shift. And we click this button down here, use appropriate default settings and change it to high precision. Close out of that. Next thing, you're going to drop in your Childish Gambino Red Bone instrumental. And you're going to navigate yourself to the part of the song where the meme actually happens. And I'm going to just cut my video here. And I'm going to put it right at the very beginning of the song. Now, kind of a little pro tip. If you guys want to be really meticulous about this, you can actually right click up where your seconds are in your timeline and go to show audio time units. And that will actually allow you to incrementally access your audio and zoom in way more than you think you could once you switch it from seconds to time units. If you guys didn't know about that, that's kind of huge. I recommend using it. And now what I'm going to do is just line up my audio with all the hits of the song. So I'm actually going to cut it just a little bit into it. So I get a nice audio peak as I'm uh, copying and pasting all this. And just by simply holding down Alt or Option, I'm going to click and drag and line all of these up with the waveforms right underneath it. All right, fantastic. Once you've got your sound bites placed out to all the different beats of the song, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is open up the cheat sheet. And I recommend pulling your effects controls panel over to the uh, program side so that we can do all of our audio effects over here and we can still access the cheat sheet because you're going to want to look at that as you're doing all the rest of the stuff. Then you're going to want to use your cheat sheet and whatever your first sound is down here is going to be your root. So now we just follow this pattern all the way to the end of the song. So I know that zero is right here on my first note. I'm going to click on my second note, go to effect controls, click on edit, and I'm going to change this to plus seven, hit enter, click on the next one, go to plus five, hit enter. Positive three, hit enter, positive two, hit enter, negative two, negative five, and then we end back at zero for this long note. So let's check that out and make sure that it worked. All right, sounded good so far. So now you're going to do the rest of this chart all the way through to the end of your song. All right, once you get done, you should have a nice sounding red bone theme down here. All right, sounded pretty good so far. I'm going to go to my preferences setting. I'm going to come down here to timeline and I'm going to set my audio transition default duration to 0.04 seconds. Yours will probably say something different here. So make sure you flop it over to seconds and hit 0.04 and click OK. Then you're going to want to select all of your audio clips down here. And I will zoom in to show you exactly what's happening. And I'm going to hit my keyboard shortcut for default transitions which actually puts a little tiny transition, like a little crossfade on all of these. Uh, yours might be shift D, but if you're not sure, go up to your keyboard settings and you can just type in down here, default transition. And then you can set it right in here. All right, so now that I've got that working for me, I'm gonna come back over here and I'm actually going to re-enable my video track and I'm gonna drop in my artwork right on top of it. And then I'm gonna scale this clip up underneath it to just be something kind of funny. And then I'm gonna come down here to my video 
I'm going to do the same thing here where I'm going to actually hit Alt or Option and I'm just going to copy my video over my audio and try to get it as close as possible to the cut points. All right, extend our artwork out here. All right, brilliant. I'm going to take all these clips down here. I'm going to nest it as well by right clicking and hitting nest. And then I'm going to come up to my effects type in crop, drop a crop effect on my video nest. And now I'm just going to crop in on either side of the artwork so that the rest of the video isn't showing on the right and on the left. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have made ourselves a phenomenally nice red bone meme. We'll take our video from the first half over here and we'll just extend it out to the beginning of the song and extend our artwork just like this. Re-enable this clip, and I'm actually going to go into this nest and I'm gonna grab this information, so I'm gonna copy the data from this and just paste it right onto here. Grab our crop from this, paste it onto this video here. All right, let's check it out. Oh, ouch. So I'll actually cut the audio here. Well, there we go, guys. We just made a red bone meme. Didn't take very long at all. Use the cheat sheet. You know, I spent a lot of time making it. It's got a picture of Childish Gambino in the background looking all sexy at one of his shows. Use the cheat sheet. Well, I hope you learned something today. We did the audio time units thing on the timeline, which allows you to very precisely and like within milliseconds adjust your audio. That's huge if you guys didn't know about it. We use the pitch shifter plugin. Make sure that you're checking the right boxes so you get the most out of pitch shifter. We use nests on audio and both video. We did a lot of like little intricate things today that I hope you guys appreciate. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nadia and Sands, and this of course is Learn How to Edit Stuff. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do me a favor, click on that subscribe button right now and also check out the last video that you missed. I make these videos so you guys can learn, you know? You want to learn how to make the red bone meme? I hit you with the red bone meme. Comment in the comment section on what you guys want to learn next. I'll see you next time.